Oh, yep. Hi, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hi, Sam. We're going to be like you? cheers, and everybody, yeah. someone comes in, we yell their name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be like, <laughs> where everybody knows your name. Brittany. Uh, by popular that. demand are coming back every week with this. <laughs> thank so. you to everybody else, too, for being brave enough for coming on and um, sharing yourselves and and spending your time with all of us. I, it's been a long week because I had so much fun last Saturday, and it was just like, it was like Christmas looking forward to this Saturday's conversation. Um, After our call last week, I felt this renewed energy and excitement. Um, I just It's like when I can't go out for many weeks at a time because of this virus, I get like very anxious and I start thinking too hard about what if I wasn't disabled and what could I do. So that's where it is. That's where my head is right now. But I'm thankful to be here and have amazing friends like you guys that help me get through it. COVID-19 is something that everybody is experiencing, whether you're disabled no. or not. I so tend to let my situation sometimes drag me down and especially with the COVID-19 going around I have sheltered myself in my home for the last almost month and I find that it's uh very taxing so, because to be able to sit down and listen to people and talk to people like you guys that actually have you know done this before I I just feel so blessed to be able to have new friends like you. So, I'm uh, trying to find sugar for my mom, but uh, that's that's there's no sugar. Strength. <laughs> I have never baked so much in my life. So yeah, I'm eating yeah. cookies and apple pie. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Dude, this bars. is why there's no sugar at the market no. because everybody's baking. No. Disability uplifters. We're not yeah. disability down pushers. We're disability uplifters. We are the advocates for the next generation, and we have to keep it going. Yeah, well, a lot of the right. advocates are mad because they, they named the movie uh, Crip Camp, and I'm like, but that's what it was. It was a camp for people with disabilities, and unfortunately, back then, using the word crippled was okay, although I don't agree with it today, but back uh. then... Yeah. My hands are up. <laughs> <laughs> We're reclaiming it, though. But back My Instagram then, handle okay. has crippled in it, so I can't mm -hmm. say nothing. <laughs> I mean, so, so what there is is there's kind of a couple different movements. There's the identity first language, which I identify with, calling myself disabled, crippled, gimp. Like, there's kind of a reclaim. Yeah. Because it's our community. These are our words. You know, like Sam says, he has a handle that has that word in it. And so people who get offended by that terminology, typically able-bodied people. And so, I mean, person first language wasn't created by people with disabilities. It was created by able-bodied people for the disabled community. So that's why there's a reclaim movement with those words. The, our name is um, Wearology because we design hardware, focusing on the accessory side of it, um, to help people overcome certain challenges with style. So that's our our. Wait. Element. So wait. Hold on. Can you can you get a shirt and pull out the button and put that button instead, or whatever it is. Yeah, our product, you just attach it to your shirt. So um, whatever kind of style or, you know, button-up shirts that um, you have, you just add these as an attachment to your shirt so that you no can – the magnetic closure. So no sewing involved at all. It is a brilliant – You need – Thank you. I think it's pretty cool. We're new. Well, but then that, well, but that, that will take away my, my reason for finding a girlfriend then. Because I, I can't be like, can you do this for me? Oh, 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 o
the best move I did to get a guy to pay attention to me in high school, he was like, do you need help getting your lunch and your chips? And I was like, yeah, football player, of course. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So how many people have used their disability to interact with a, uh, someone you have a crush on? I oh, have. All right, Sam. Thanks for being honest, Molly. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Use every tool in your toolbox. Um, even though we're required to stay at home for the safety of ourselves and others, our voices aren't silenced. You know, the topic for today was finding freedom and isolation. What is that? What else is uh, everybody doing to keep sane? Because I think even though we're fighting something that's physical, this is going to be a mental game too. talking about instead of calling this social uh, distancing it's physical distancing but socially I think it's been bringing everybody together in such a strong amazing way because um, like I've talked to people and friends that I have not talked to in months like it's just like that you know just everybody checking in to make sure everybody's coping okay with this and so I just think that it's we need to maybe rephrase this whole social distancing to physical distancing, but socially, I think it's bringing us together. Yeah, give yourself grace because we're all going yeah. through craziness. So there's still like a level of you want to accomplish everything, but we ultimately, we have so much time. Like we have, it, it's not like a race. So I tell myself that like every day, like, okay, I don't have to accomplish everything on my to-do list. And I think it's a really good time for, for all of us to kind of focus on like self-care. And there's been a, there's been a good, good group of number of, a uh, good number of people where I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to just start unfollowing. I'm doing a lot of that. Friended you, so don't, don't delete me. I just befriended you on Facebook. So do <laughs> not, you should not delete me. me. I've had so I've been journaling. I've been writing. Totally. I've, I've been listening, first of all, to Deepak Chakra and Oprah do a 21-day meditation. But anyway, so I work with this mind, body, and soul coach. And every morning at 11 o'clock California time, but she's doing this all over the world. And it's a thing every morning that she gets you lifted so you're really happy and you keep your energy up and you feel better about this whole, whole virus that's going around. You guys so, listen to a motivational speaker speak. Yes, because in addition to the meditation, I think yoga is something that um, has just, it just provides such great core strength. I have never. Yeah. I've got a, I've got a mean, people that are already just homebodies and working or working from home. Like, you know, majority of the population. Uh, is stuck at home unwillingly and they're like I don't know what to do with all the time it's like well exercise there's nothing healthier than exercise there's yeah. nobody that's actually trying to teach people how to exercise correctly a lot mis yeah. misconception is that you want to stretch before you exercise but um, the actual truth is that you want to stretch after your your uh, your body is already done exercising or your body's still warm so for me, I stretch uh, after I warm up and then after I'm done exercising. Mm -hmm. Also, most uh, most colleges that have a decent PT program, they will intake uh, people with disabilities as uh, for free therapy because at that at some point they need bodies for all the so students. I can what? I can definitely do another call just specifically about exercising, uh, and I'll be more than willing to help anybody out. I basically wanted to offer for people in general um free training for anybody that wants it during during the, the during their yeah. quarantine like there's lots of reasons why we need exercise and we need adaptive exercise yeah it's we not do. can i exercise how do i exercise but whenever you talk about disabled people and disability the one thing that drives me off the wall is the fact that all these pts all these people are like re are regurgitating what pts say and what do pts say Grab a pair of bands, grab a TheraBand, grab some tubes, do tube stuff. It's like, no, pick oh, up a dumbbell. Sam, I agree with you. I had this, I had a, a guy ther therapist 
And he would just want to do bands with me and play Star Wars, like, Dark Vader shit with me. And I'm like, what the f*** is this shit? <laughs> I mean, Star Wars is cool, so I don't know what you're talking shit about Star Wars. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know. I, I get it. Yeah, I get it. So like, I didn't, I didn't you had your yeah, dad's tooth, and you started talking shit about Dark Vader. No, I, I, love, I love Star Wars. Chewbacca's Chewbacca. my favorite. I love Chewbacca. But yeah, that's, that's one of the, one of the things. That, like, but what I'm saying is, I didn't come here for adaptive workout for you to be like, let's let's light up Star Wars lights and let's play Wii. I'm like, this is not like, this is not me. This is like totally for a little kid's point of view. And I was just hoping that he would work on me toward my upper like body strength and my legs he he would just sit me in the chair and sometimes he would bring me potato chips oh boy and i'm like you're supposed to be my physical therapist I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I think I want <laughs> what denise i'd be like bring on the legs <laughs> Bring out the legs. <laughs> and then, guys, that's not the freaking best part. The freaking <laughs> best part was when he tried to recruit me into his Power Rangers group. That's insane. Uh, What's wrong with that? <laughs> I, lo I, I love Power Rangers, but... Power Rangers are also awesome. I mean, yeah, they are. Like your PC I used, and I can be best I used friends. to like the green one when I was a kid. <laughs> but Ninja Turtles, though. Okay, obviously the pink one is the best one, you know. <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna have an argument, like, hello. That's, <laughs> that's Sam's first crush, the pink Power Ranger. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> so, you know It's okay to be frustrated in this space. It's a frustrating thing. Yeah, um, I feel like I'm isolated a lot more. Cause but I feel like the system for people with disabilities is injustice. Like, my cerebral palsy is not gone just because I reached 21. I've had to adapt from being an adult in a society where it's not really made for me. Yeah. Having to constantly fight for what you know is right for you when doctors and society says, oh, but this isn't right for you, Talia. You need to take this pill, that pill. You need to go to this doctor, that pill. And so, it's like uh, as you guys know, I work in the strength community. I work in the strength and conditioning community. I work as uh, a coach for athletes. Um, uh, one thing that I've gotten as a, when I was younger and like an intern volunteering for different high schools and colleges, um, one thing I got from one of my bosses was, uh, the comment was, he's never going to be more than an assistant because he doesn't know how to be strong. Um, and actually as of last month, I had, uh, uh, a member of the gym that I coach at, uh, said to another member, I don't respect him because if he doesn't know how to do it himself and he's not strong himself, how is he supposed to know what, how to teach it? Um, so it's, it's an, that's an ongoing theme throughout my life. I mean, granted, I put myself in this position, um, you know, but, uh, I know that that's one thing that I've always had to deal with and I know I'm going to continue to deal with. But the funny thing is that whenever somebody else says that to me, I said, look at my resume, look at the proof, the proof is in the pudding. I think, I think for me, I'm so confident in myself and my capabilities, um, that I don't ever question that um i question their i question their character more than i question Pauline, myself i feel not only physical therapists we need medical professionals we need mental health care professionals i'm sorry i don't want to hang out with julian michaels i want to hang out with somebody who i know has been where i have been like i Ever, I hope everyone has a best week and keep yourself safe and wash your hands. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just so thankful for everybody's continued energy around this group and the purpose of connecting and finding community. And it's just, it's really exciting. And I can't wait for next week. Perfect.